Hey guys, today I want to show you a little trick in Ableton that can maybe help um, spark your creativity. Creativity, I should say. Um, and it's, um, I think that most of the experienced Ableton users will know this. But um, for those of you that don't, I, I really like this trick and it will give you some new ideas uh, along the way. The first step is to take a beat and I um, chose just a sample, which is... something like that and then um, we're gonna we're gonna make different samples out of this loop so um, there are different ways to do this we can uh, right click and then say convert to uh, new MIDI track slash to new MIDI track and then you say transients all right and then here you have all your samples um, which you can drag in um, to other places again like that um, but what I like to do is um, cut them up manually so we're gonna do that and I'm gonna delete those and just take this one which is the whole beat and then I'll make the first sample until right here so now I got this and then I copy this and then I'll just slide this one over And I repeat that for the whole beat, like that. And now um, the advantage is that I can be more precise and I can choose, uh, for example, if I want um, two hits in one sample or just one, or I, I have a little bit more control this way. So here, for example, I think I want these two. And then I want this one. And it's not it's not that time consuming, although if you have a long loop it can be a little bit, but for a short loop like this like this it's, it's okay. So now I have my whole loop analyzed. Um, and now what I can do is I can first set them all to loop. So they are now all on loop. So I can switch um, between them, which is not very interesting. Um, but another thing I can do is enable follow action and set it to the next sample after one sixteenth note. And I can make this uh, longer. Um, so that's already a little bit more interesting. Um, then I can set the follow action to random, um, any other. So now it's randomly choosing different samples. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, one last thing I can do is I disable the follow action for now, say no action, set them all to loop. And then I can MIDI map these triggers to my uh, MIDI keyboard just on the white keys C D E F G A B C and now I can trigger them with my MIDI keyboard. So that is um, already quite interesting and then of course this um, value here matters because this is the uh, sync value so if you set it to one bar it will not trigger that fast, it will wait for the one bar first. So you can set this uh, completely off if you have a very good timing, which I think I don't. Like that, or you can set it to a 16th or a 32nd note, which helps you a little bit by uh, quantizing it to the tempo. Like that.
get and then of course you can uh, run two of them at the same time you can completely go crazy here which i love about the session view um, i can set the first one to random and the second one to logical order see what that sounds like It's all right, a little bit slow. A little bit of phasing. We can set this one to um, previous, so it's gonna reverse the whole beat. Anyway, as you can see, there are a lot of options here. So have fun with that and um, let me know if you find some other cool uses for this.